Hi everyone. Let's solve this very quickly. And I'm going to do this in two ways. So let's look at the first method. Okay, we have um, square root of 2 square root of x equals 4. Using the first method, I have to square this and square this. If you do the same on both sides, you have not changed the equation. This will go with that. We have 2 root x to be equal to 16. Like this, right? Then, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. So you can get more of my videos. This will take this out and this will go there. It goes and then square root of x is equal to 8, half of 16. Now I still have to square this and square this. So that the square root will go again. And then x will now be equal to 64 because 8 squared is 64. Now, let's look at the second method, because the first method gave us x to be 64. Okay, so we look at the second method. And for the second method, remember that the equation is still 2 root x equals 4. 2 here is under 1 square root psi. And then, um, this right here is under 2 square root sign. As a matter of fact, we can just separate what we have here and get something like this, right? We have um, 2 to the power of 1 over 2 because it's under 1 square root sign multiplied by x to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 because x is under 2 square root sign. This is divided um, equal to 4. Now, 2 to the power of 1 over 2 times x to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to 4. So if this is the case, why don't I remove this as I divide both sides by 2 to the power of 1 over 2? Then this will be divided by 2 to the power of 1 over 2. Now you'll be thinking, why don't I divide this by 1 over 2 as well? Now, this is considered one term. 2 to the power of 1 over 2 times x to the power of 1 over 4 is one term. So if you divide this by 2, do not divide this again. This goes with this. And we we'll have x to the power of 1 over 4 to be equal to 4 over... Okay, so we have 4 over... 2 to the power of 1 over 2. Now, there's something I would like to address here very quickly. This is x to the power of 1 over 4 equals, this is the same as 4 over square root of 2. Hope you know that. And if this is what it is, we are to rationalize what we have here. Okay, to rationalize it, this non-rational number here, you multiply it, multiply the numerator and the denominator by it, just like I did. So x to the power of 1 over 4 is now 4 times root 2 is 4 root 2 over root 2 times root 2 will give 2. Okay, ordinarily it will give us root 4 and square root of 4 is 2. Now, 2 here can go there. So we have x. We have x to the power of 1 over 4 to be equal to 2 root 2. Now, what again should I do? I have to remove this power from here as I raise this to the power of 1 over 4 to the power of 4. So that 4 can cancel itself and x will be free. Then here, I am to have root 2, root 2, to the power of 4. Because this 4 here that I introduced would have to reflect on the right. Okay, so I'm going to finish it on this side. Let me finish it on this side. 
okay so we still have we still have um okay from here this is going to take this away so we have just x on the left then on the right we have 2 to the power of 4 right that's gonna be 16 that will be 16 then multiply by root 2 to the power of 4 okay let's work on that root 2 to the power of 4 here is the same thing to root 2 to the power of 4 here is root 2 times root 2 okay times root 2 times root 2 right root 2 times root 2 will give us 2 that is square root of 4 2 then times root 2 times root 2 will give us another 2 and at the end of the day we have 4 right so this means that root 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 4 therefore our x is equal to 16 times 4 and then our x is finally equal to 64 and this is what we had using the okay that is what we had when we used the first method but the question is which of the methods would you use the first or the second